Yep, you best believe it, we're back at it again with another freaking tier list video, but this time I'm gonna be going over all the perks, as of right now, that are in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies. So be ready for this video if you happen to enjoy this video. I'll leave a like on this if you haven't, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, it'd mean the world to me. Every new subscriber helps me out, so you better freaking subscribe, or I'll smite you with my Smite 4 Diamond Sword. Alright, anyways though, let's hop into this. Okay, so we're not gonna go in any specific order, I guess we're gonna go from top to the bottom. Secret Sauce... I I don't even know why I included it. It's there's no point in putting secret sauce anywhere because it's every perk. So we're just gonna leave it here. We're gonna leave it back here. Act like you didn't see it. Death perception. We're gonna go over. It's a freaking dumb perk. Essentially, you can see through walls for zombies, and that's about it. And then like its modifier is that you can you do special damage or more damage to special enemy weak points, which we don't even know what the freak that means yet at all. So that's not really clear in itself. It's not a really the worst perk because it actually is not too bad for maps like maybe Voyage and I guess sometimes Ancient Evil some maps that are kind of close quarters so you can kind of see some zombies coming ahead of time that's pretty good for that so death perception isn't the worst i don't personally run it myself but it's not terrible so i'm gonna put it down in, in the d it's not the freaking worst but it's it's okay it's an all right perk next we got stamina up stamina up is godly in this game it's really good just by itself like you get more increased stamina and all that it's just pretty freaking good but also when you have the modifier and it costs 2000 by itself but when you have the modifier of 2500 not too much more and you get unlimited full speed Speed sprint until you freaking I don't know die and lose it uh, until you get it back. It's really freaking good. That is the best mod, one of the best modifiers in this freaking game. Cause doing Easter eggs like maybe on Blood of Dead or something when you have to do so much running around, this perk is probably one of the best ones for it. So definitely gonna put it in the S. Stamina up is freaking godly. It's so good. Victorious Tortoise, one of the most crutch perks I think ever in Black Ops 4. Cause the Black Ops in the Black Ops 4 mechanism and how it works, you need a freaking shield to play that game. Without a shield, you're freaking and dead because these zombies are very inconsistent with how they hit you they either hit you super quick or they hit you super slow or they just have the most intelligent brain and they'll freaking clap you in two seconds it's really ridiculous so when you're rocking victorious tortoise you can have the shield out you'll avoid all freaking melee damage or from any zombie just from having the shield out it's so freaking good it's really good for that specific reason i have never i haven't stopped using victorious tortoise since i've used it back in october when the game came out this perk is really freaking good it's so essential without it downs in this game are way too freaking and common and it's a shame because I, I could do fine without victorious tortoise in the past but now that i've used it so much it's so difficult to play without it so victorious tortoise definitely a crutch the modifier doesn't really do much it lets you like you can kill heavies and mini bosses a little bit easier with the shield but why are you gonna be doing that anyway you got your freaking wonder weapons and your your mogs and all that so victorious tortoise really good perk really good crutch perk i'm putting it in the s tier it's pretty freaking good and i think that's exactly where it should be it's an s i use it all the time personally and it's just one of the better perks in the freaking game next we got mule kick classic old mule kick gives you an extra gun you gotta like it it's it's a classic you gotta love it the modifier for it lets you switch weapons faster and when you lose your or when you go down and you come back when you buy the perk again you get your gun back so it's a good modifier in itself i don't use it much for modifiers anymore but it's a good it's a good perk nonetheless if you want to just have extra weapons to get camel challenges done it's mule kick your classic boy so i'm gonna put it in the b it's a good perk it's not the best perk if it wasn't so expensive you know it'd be whatever like mule munchies and in infinity infinite warfare that was good it was only 2000 you can get like another freaking perk or a gun so that was good mule kick a solid perk i don't use it much often anymore unless i need to for some reason but it's still a solid perk and it's definitely a b for sure dying wish has become another crutch perk for i think a lot of people who just don't like bs down it's kind of like with victorious taurus if you don't want to get like a bs down you hold the shield out well if you don't want to have a bs down for when you're not having your shield out when you have victorious taurus on you need dying wish because like i said the zombies in this game are very inconsistent they're either the most intelligent zombies alive or the dumbest ones ever so they just hit you whenever the frick they feel like it or sometimes whenever the frick they just i don't know it's just annoying so if dying wish saves you from that having that down it's a shame that the perk is so useless until you get freaking killed pretty much or you're supposed to die and then it takes like 20 decades to recharge and every time you die or every time you use it it takes even longer to recharge so it's not really great for high rounds and they also nerfed it a little bit as of recently uh one of the updates where it usually would when you go down and you lose dying wish when you rebought it it would reset as if it was your first time buying it but now it carries on the same progress as the last one so it just will continually take forever to recharge so that makes it a little bit worse i was gonna put in s but because of that one update that they made to it made it kind of worse and just now it always will take forever to recharge so it's a little bit annoying it's still a good perk though but i'm gonna put in the a definitely deserves to be there next we got stone cold stronghold another classic that's pretty good no not a classic like mule kick but it's another classic for camping this is like the only perk that really lets you camp in this game and it, i just like the, the like the whole modifier and all that like if you just if you have zombies that are killed in your circle you get shield back and all that so if you find a 
in a really good camping spot, like uh, like the, the top five camping spots in uh, Dead of the Night, you can watch that video and I'll show you some freaking good camping spots. But if you have just Stone Cold Stronghold on for that, you can just keep getting your freaking armor back. So it's a really good perk for just camping. Otherwise, it's, it's pretty much useless for anything else, which is, oof, it's fine. That's what it's meant to be. It's meant to be used for one purpose. But I feel like when you don't run it with the modifier, it's not as good because it takes a long time to kill, get kill or to recharge it when you're standing in there because it doesn't recharge on kills. It just recharges on you standing in there. So it's a little bit bad because of that. But when you have the modifier on, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna put in the A tier alongside Dying Wish. Pretty good perk. Not the best because you don't use it all the time. There's not a lot of spots to camp in this game. But when you find that one good sweet spot, it's a good freaking perk. So you definitely gotta run it. Bandolier Bandit's a simple perk. It just gives you more ammo. The modifier is kind of cool, but you're not really gonna be using it much often, especially because they added the Mule Kick or the not the Mule Kick, the Speed Cola update to where uh, once you have all your four perks, you can just reload faster. So the the modifier is kind of pointless because what it would do is when you have a gun stowed away that you didn't reload while you had to stow it away with another gun it would be reloading itself through time and then to make like, like a gun related noise so you can know it's ready it's not really useful though other than that because you reload so quick in this game anyway so it's kind of dumb for that maybe if you have like an lmg that you don't have fast mags on or something and it takes forever to reload maybe it'd be good for that personally i don't run pandelier for the modifier much occasionally i'll run it for just having extra ammo but most of the guns i use in the game are wall weapons but bandolier is still a good perk it's not terrible in any way it just i don't know it's a good bang for your buck three thousand points for a, an extra mag or two not too bad especially when you're camping so i'm gonna put in the b it's like with mule kick it's like if you want a new gun you get mule kick if you want more ammo you get freaking bandolier you know you can have both at the same time if you want but you know it's it's your decision next we got dead shot dealer not daiquiri because for some reason they had to change it dead shot dealer it's essentially dead shot except you know it's it's yellow you just snapped his enemies heads easier i think you do some some very little damage but when you have the modifier you do increased damage for each chain of headshots that you get so that's a good perk in itself if you want to have like infinite like amount of damage going on i don't really run it too much because it just i, I you really don't need it it's all you're doing is getting slightly more headshot damage and getting headshot damage isn't really important much in this game anyways because it's like with black ops 3 where like blast furnace and dead wire were like the, the only thing you really needed for high rounds you're not gonna be really using dead shot dealer for high rounds because you're gonna be running firebomb and like all the other good alternate ammo types in the game so deadshot dealer isn't really useful for that it's still good for trying to get freaking headshot camo challenges done but it's definitely not good for like high round kind of things so i'm gonna put deadshot dealer in the a it's an all right perk for the modifier in itself but it's definitely not an s because you, you're not gonna be using it much for high rounds unless you for some reason have pack and punch your guns fully without having any alternate ammo types on it which spoiler alert that's impossible so it just wouldn't make any sense you know the, the alternate ammo types would be better to have you can have a def you can definitely have a, de a different perk than dead shot for that spot if you're gonna go for high rounds but it's still a good perk if you want to use it it's not the worst it's all right i'm gonna knock it down to a b actually it's not the greatest but it's still a good perk time slip is one of those weird perks that uh, i didn't use much on or i use a lot on launch but i didn't un i didn't know what it was doing for me but now that i understand it's it's not bad you know for 1500 points you can get your traps to recharge quicker uh freaking travel destination and all that recharge quicker your equipment recharges a little bit faster it's a good freaking perk and you get a lot for it being cheap and then the modifier you get freaking get your special weapons to recharge quicker it's really good it's a really good perk for just like those solid like hey we're gonna do this this high round strategy where i train these zombies around and i'll use the trap and all that but with this you can use the trap even quicker and sooner alongside your equipment and all that so it just makes it for a really good perk for just for high rounds so it's definitely an s tier perk i don't use it as much but it's still a good perk i can acknowledge that this is a good perk for high rounds it's a really freaking solid perk not gonna freaking lie it's good so it's definitely an s tier for sure time slip really good i think if when you put the modifier on it i think it's three thousand or three it's either 3,000 or 3,500, which is a bit much for the, t the modifier, seeing as the modifier makes your special weapons increase or come back faster. And I don't think it's too big of a significant difference, but just for the main 1,500 benefits that you get for itself, it's pretty freaking good. So it's definitely it's definitely an S for sure. Electric Burst, not Electric Cherry anymore, but let me tell you, it's definitely better than Electric Cherry because Electric Cherry, the main difference they did with Electric Burst is they changed the freaking logo of it being a cherry to a gun. No, I'm just kidding. The main difference is that the, it, the damage that it does or like the electric field that it does it's very frequent it's not like it never doesn't happen it, it, it will always, you every time you reload there will always be an electric burst that goes around you with electric cherry it was like all right you get a couple bursts and then if you keep keep if you keep freaking reloading over and over again you're gonna run out for a, a little bit until it comes back later for no freaking reason
reason. So it's very inconsistent. Electric Chariot is still a good perk, but it was very inconsistent. Electric Burst, on the other hand, works all the time for 3,000 points. I'm pretty sure it's 3,000 points. For 3,000 points, you get the Electric Burst of just like, you know, you reload. It can save you. It's pretty good stuff for training, but I don't use it as much as I would anymore. I made a video called Top 5 Best Tonic Perks, and this was the number one spot because of the main reason. The modifier seems to be an insta-kill forever when you get it because essentially the modifier gives you an electric kind of melee attack when you reload enough and it just seems to insta kill forever so it's still good for high round stuff if you want to use it i don't use it much anymore personally but an insta kill knife is pretty good and i bet if you combo it along with slaughter or slaughter slide ethereal razor i'm sure it'll do a lot of freaking damage uh and just for the higher rounds but i personally don't use it enough anymore it's definitely a good perk i i like i said i don't run enough anymore but it's a good perk so i'm gonna put it in the a you can debate me on that whether you like it or not you, some people are like oh it's definitely an f no it's definitely not an f it's a it's a day next we got zom shell zombie shell zomb sh i don't freaking know how you would say this i think it's just supposed to be zom shell i don't know because you don't say the i don't freaking know because you don't say the b and bomb the second b and bomb you say i don't freaking know either way zom shell for four thousand points you get a freaking little weird thing of goo on the ground that's electric goo and it slows down zombies and if you activate it on a certain zombie it'll kill like a couple zombies around it it's essentially like an alternate ammo type but it's a perk so it's not like the greatest but it's cool and the modifier i think it makes it 5500 which is ridiculous but the modifier gives you the effect of vulture raid which is when you stand inside that electric goo thing the zombies will ignore you for a bit they'll run around and be like oh where the frick does this dude go so it'd be good for that but one of the thing that's wrong with it is when you're training when would you ever when you train and you you, you use that freaking perk and it slows down all those zombies and you're trained i feel like if anything it's definitely sl slowing down your kill rate for the zombies it might kill a couple but it, it definitely slows down the kill rate and then when you have the modifier when would you ever run back into that horde to freaking be protected you know it, it just wouldn't make any sense when you have so many other perks that could do better and you have you already have alternate ammo ties which you don't need to buy in the game other than pack a punching so zomsha i don't really see it too much of a purpose to use it's not terrible it's definitely i would use it over death perception any day so i'm gonna put in the c might be a little controversial because i know it's a newer perk but it's just kind of like why the frick would i use it you know like no next we got phd slider aka slaughter slide because i always called it slaughter slide for some freaking reason because of that gobble gum in black ops 3 but phd slider for 4,000 points you get splash damage immunity yes they freaking did it i remember i made many ranting videos like you need to freaking remove the splash damage or make it even less or whatever but no they just removed it all entirely so you can pretty much sit in any corner with the helium salvo and go to round 1 million as long as you have enough ammo really good perk it costs way too freaking much 4,000 points for no splash damage a little bit too much then again 2,000 points for phd flopper in the past whatever maybe because i'm just thinking about that maybe 4,000 is a balance but when you get the freaking modifier you get a uh, increased slide distance which is fine i guess but you're not who's gonna you don't really slide much in this game anyway if only time you ever slide is just if you want to slide honestly everyone knows this and you do a little bit more damage with your explosion on from higher heights which when the frick are you ever gonna be going into a slide from a higher height into a horde of zombies never it's just the modifier is pretty much useless and then again also the splash damage that you do itself from sliding in the zombies isn't much either it probably could kill a horde when you have insta kill on because you know insta kill but without it it's just it doesn't kill anything past like round 20 so it's not really a good perk for that um i think the only main use you'd have it is just for having splash damage resistance which is fine and all but it just it's not worth it too much for me to use it's plus how many times are you really gonna be using explosive weapons in the game unless you're just gonna go for specific high rounds in certain maps so it's a good perk i'm not personally gonna put in an s or an a it's it's a b it's a good it has good benefits but it just costs a little bit too much you know back in the day i would have put this on a fat f this would have been an instantly fat f but guess what a treyarch fixed the perk finally and it's actually freaking good so essentially winter's whale now instead of it just going off as soon as you get hit it goes off if you've already taken damage so let's say you get swiped you're at 150 health and you get hit again and you're at 100 it goes off it will go off and slow down all zombies nearby or any zombie that are nearby will get frozen how freaking great is that they made it so much better by taking my suggestions i made a video talking about like all right how the frick do you fix this perk oh just make it go off on a second hit or whatever and that's what they freaking did that's what they did it is kind of weird though because like it will go off like let's say you're at 195 health right you're just re regening your health all the way back to 200 and you get hit when you're at 195 it will go off which is kind of dumb but they gave it an extra recharge so it has three charges it recharges faster it recharges at the end of the rounds when you get a max ammo it's so much better now it's such a good perk it definitely is so much more usable for the higher rounds and it's so good 
good now. And when you have the modifier, which is like it makes like a slowing field of like cold around you, so it slows down all zombies when you get hit. That's really freaking good. This is a good perk now. They made it really good, and I'm very happy. I remember I remember once I was like, all right, I'm gonna make a top five perks, and this will be or top five worst perks, and this will be number one. But now it's definitely a, a, a high high A. I don't think it deserves being an S yet because it's still kind of like a weird perk to use because there's better perks to use over it, like maybe Dying Wish would be better, but they're in the same category. But you know what I mean? There's perks that you could use over it, especially if you're a good player. You don't need Winter's Whale, but it's good. Winter's Whale is a good freaking perk now, and they made it good, and I like it. All right, next we got my boy quick revive let me tell you about quick revive quick revive it does what quick revive used to do in the other games you revive your teammates faster and that's about it no you also heal faster in this game one of the most important things you need to freaking do in this game ever because for some reason in this game the regeneration of health takes about 20 decades normally but with quick revive it takes at least about 10 decades which is nice quick revive increases the time to heal so much quicker it's your classic 2000 point buy just like how it was in the past game and then the modifier for it gives you uh when you revive teammates you both get a speed boost limit when they're when you're, when you're when you pick them up just freaking run away and get get some time which is pretty cool pretty nice i don't freaking play co-op much so i don't really get to use that benefit i use the other benefit which is when you're regenerating your health you move faster you move faster than you would with stamina up when you combine it with stamina up you move pretty freaking fast it's a good perk now it's a such this is my, my replacement for stamina up because it's so good now this is definitely an s tier perk it, i love it it has so many more benefits than i expected and it's only like the 2500 when you put the modifier on it it's not that much it's like stamina up you barely get much of a cost you get so much bang for your buck and it's freaking awesome if there was an ss tier i would put quick revive there i didn't make it though so i'm not gonna do it now but it's a good freaking perk lastly we got ethereal razor this is a perk that's also new it was, it was added before zom shell and essentially i think it's I, i'm not actually sure how much it costs i think it's four thousand i'm pretty sure I'm not entirely sure because I've only used it through secret sauce. I don't know how much it actually costs, but it costs a bit. I know that. And essentially, you get more increased melee damage. So you can hit zombies. Kind of like how um, Sword Flay is at Gobblegum, except that one instantly kills forever now. With this, you do more melee damage with the regular purchase. But when you buy the tonic version or the modifier version, it will insta kill all zombies that you knife lunge into. So you do the animation like you get close to them and you knife, not like the swipe, like the quick swipe you can do while walking away when you lunge into them you get you you can insta kill them and the cool thing is about it with the normal buy you can do like an arc attack which will hit more zombies when you do that regular swipe it'll do like an arc attack and it will kill more zombies for in the lower rounds and the higher rounds it'll do some more damage but it won't kill them and you also every time you melee a zombie you get health back if you're weak and you knife a zombie you get health back it's good it's good for that let's say you're about to go freaking down there's a zombie right in front of you but you have it as a modifier you freaking knife it you get some health back and you'll live and you'll survive it's freaking good and the, from what i noticed when you do regular knife lunges into zombies you get 40 health back and then when you do those swipes those quick swipes you get 10 so it's still good you, you get some health back i think if you match it up with quick revive and all that with the with the tonic modifier for quick revive you would just be going freaking everywhere you'll be zooming dude because you'll be healing it's a good perk don't you really use it often just because when you go to when you go to melee when you do that knife lunge melee to get the extra health and stuff having 10 you get 40 from lunging you can get stuck sometimes because the zombie will just instantly swarm you so that's kind of like a gamble it's like all right do i really want to get some health back or do i just want to heal naturally so it's kind of like iffy it's a good perk definitely a really solid perk for high rounds i would say especially with the modifier for the tonic if you're if you're brave enough to melee into zombies directly but otherwise i would just run it with the bowie knife uh, casually not having it as your modifier and it'd just be good to have like a hey do i need some health yeah i, yeah, I do sure why not you just knife a zombie that's what i would use it for i would you, I wouldn't say it's an S or an A. I'm gonna give it a B. It's a good perk. Pretty solid. Not gonna lie. This is my list for the ranking of all the perks in uh, Black Ops 4 Zombies. So let me know what your guys' thoughts is in the comment section down below. Like I said, Secret Sauce, it's pretty much all these perks. The only thing you have to make a gamble. So, I mean, it, where the frick would I even put it? I'm just gonna put it back here because it's, it's in its own category. I should have made a category called The Sauce, but I didn't. Anyway, so that is gonna be it for this, uh, this video. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. Do you disagree? Do you agree? what the frick do you think i would be curious to know in the comment section down below thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoy this tier list and all that and watch the other tier list videos i made they're pretty fun to make and the, especially the zombies map one that one's controversial in itself so watch that thank you guys for watching appreciate all you guys support and all my content and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>